I'm Brandy Chastain, and you are watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. Questions? Right here in the front, Paul. Buenas noches, good evening. This is for Paul. Congratulations, Rachel, Dana. Um, I would like to know how do you find a way to score the goal and how do you guys connect on the second half to score the goal? Is something you guys practice? How is the chemistry and the communication? Thank you. Gracias. Um, I just think that playing with Rachel is very easy. Um, she's a very dynamic player and she's super fast and strong, how you guys can see. Um, I just said in, in my goal, like, just go with her. Like, she can take it by herself, but like, I'm just gonna be there. And she just had a great look and she found me. Um, I really appreciate that. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I don't know. It's something that we are building like every day in, in training and, and we are getting to know each other better and better. And that's the kind of goals that, that we are trying to, to make, to score. Yeah, um, for that goal, I, you know, when you just see the color of the jersey inside the box, I knew we were just the two of us inside. But that's why it took time uh, passing the ball. I saw her running and then I just, you know, did my thing and, you know, just passed anyhow. I didn't even know that she's there, but I, I just guessed like she'll be there because I saw her going. And then it was I so just... hard to chase her. <laughs> <laughs> Other questions? Marissa? Um, Rachel, I've been a few times this season where you guys have been down and back either tired or come close in these games. What's kind of like the confidence for this offensive group that no matter how many goals are down by you're going to be able to, to produce and come back? I think we are that team that never gives up. You know, start from behind, two goals from behind and then we just come back and unfortunately today we lost, uh, we considered an third goal which we fought, you know. It wasn't easy for us but I like the spirit that uh, we fight until the end. Alex? Alex Simon from SFDA. Dana, conversely, it's the second match now out of the last three where it's barely even 10 minutes in and you're already down 2 nothing. Last time Overton said that you guys maybe were almost too deferential and too defensive to kind of give the two goals. Was that kind of how those first two happened tonight in, in your strategy or did it? No, well, um, I mean, like, obviously we had new players on the, on the 11. Uh, I think they the whole team did a great job. It's not easy coming from from not playing to, to being the 11 star and also uh, with a kind of different uh, system and everything. So like like all credits to them because I think like um, they did great and also uh, that's when the experience and and the part that Rach is saying that we never give up is yeah to kneel down but it doesn't matter like we're gonna fight till the end and I, I think um, that's what happened today how she said it's just unfortunate that we couldn't uh, at least gain one point from this game because I thought like we deserve it uh, but that's football and, and we just need to keep fighting and keep learning and keep uh, having each other's back and I think we are uh, doing a really good job with that and um, I just want to congratulate the, the players that play for the first time today that it were a lot of a lot of them um, and I think they did a really really good job today. Okay. Uh, good, evening. good evening ladies I'm Murphy College Bay Area Sports Rock. Rachel, you know, you're just this great combination of speed and power. So you know it seems like it, it takes the whole eleven to guard you. Can you just talk about how you're able to kind of take it into that next gear when you're attacking with the football like that? Uh, I think I just uh, it's it's very easy, you know. Uh, um, I'm strong. <laughs> yeah, for you. I, I'm fast, you know. So I just need to see where the line is and you know use that opportunity. I just need one second to beat them, you know. So if 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 they give me that second, I'm in front of them, then they are done. Yeah. Right. Simple uh, enough. <laughs> you're good. Yeah, okay. You've played against each other uh, back in Spain and also against. A few years ago, uh, how is now to play uh, now in the same team? Um, you know, uh, being opponents is different uh, from being teammates. You have to know your friend, you know, so that uh, you have good combination and everything, you know. But uh, as as being opponents, you just need to study how you are going to beat your opponent. That's all. But uh, being teammates, there's a lot involved. It must be friendship, and then you know to become teammates. Like, and uh, it will help you the friendship that you build outside football, and it will help you inside the pitch. Yeah, that's something special about this this team. I think 
since day one like we all had a really really good chemistry and really good friendships and that's something that is very rare in football and um, it feels like we're knowing each other for longer than we actually do and, and that's very exciting and that's very special and, and we just really enjoy being with each other. Yeah, hey, uh, Greg Silver, KMBR. A uh, question for Dana, kind of going off of what Alex was saying with falling behind 2 nothing early and happening in the first half of games. Uh, obviously, Alex being out is a big loss, and team chemistry seems great, but what do you feel like you need to do as one of the leaders on the team to make sure that everything's together a little bit defensively and then kind of translating into the offense so that you don't play from behind so much? Well, yeah, losing Alex uh, is a big loss, but I think like we have a lot of good players that can like fill that space, and like either we change the system a little bit or like we adapt uh, new players in that position. I think like it will come together every day, like and every game we improve and we show a better football and a better uh, kind of fight. And and for us, it's it's just about. <laughs> the point that Wang is going to turn to our favor and I think um, that's that's why we all come because we are doing everything that the coaching staff is asking um, we know that we are a very talented team and the way of football that we play is, is different and it's exciting and it's and it's precious um, so so yeah it will come let's take a couple more Sarah hi Sarah um, all for 11 so I forgot I was waiting for it um, it seemed like around the 30th minute uh, the offense started to click a little bit more and then at the start of the second half when Tess came on, when Maya came on, it seemed like it really just came together. Was it a halftime talk that was that was delivered in the locker room or was it the addition of those two players that kind of allowed the offense to click a little bit more uh, and flow a little bit more in the second half or both? I think it was better understanding of, of what we, the way we wanted to press and and the way we wanted to attack. Uh, obviously, we only had like a couple days to to get ready for this game, and this week um, is is very <laughs> difficult week. We have three games. We already played two of them, and obviously, like when Tess and Maya and everyone else that came to the pitch, um, it changed and make us better because we needed those fresh uh, legs. And and I think that's what this team is good at, that we are all ready and we have each other's back and we trust each other. And we knew like, we know that every player that comes to the pitch, uh, they're gonna give their 100% and we are gonna look better. All right, last two questions. Uh, Liliana, go ahead. Hi, uh, Liliana, for uh, both of you. Uh, Nico there you have seen like the public come out like a couple of times everyone's like really exciting the team is still pretty new uh and yet like the results aren't quite there what would you tell the, your your audience your fans uh if you would promise anything in terms of what's to come that that hasn't quite uh clicked yet yeah. Um, I think our, all we will say is that they shouldn't give up on us. You know, we've uh, tried our best. We've been trying, and we keep on trying, keep on working on our mistakes, and and try to um, uh, progress to uh, uh, progress forward. You know, um, we are so happy to see them always coming, supporting us, and with their support, you know, they are motivating us to work extra hard. And uh, I'm sure uh, we are going to to be there. We are going to give the results that they need in future because right now it's a new team and we are just knowing one another you know we are just knowing our strength and everything and if you see the games that we have played and these two past games the system and everything is different the way we play you know it's a, it's a, it's a little bit they are different because we are now knowing one another you, you know yeah, I just I just think like is they are being great and they follow us like everywhere we play. They are here when when we are at home. We feel their energy and uh, just and we are very grateful to them and we we just can't wait like to give them the the results that they deserve because I'm pretty sure and I'm hundred percent certain that we have the best fans in the league. Right, we're gonna wrap it on that one and bring coaching. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. <laughs> Hi, this is the voice of the San Jose Earthquakes, Ted Ramey for Bay Area Sports Wrap. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.